Hi, Sonny here. Uh, this is part five of the song The Hunter, and we are going to cover the second part of the solo, and we are only covering uh, two phasings here, two phrasings. Um, let me play for you, and then we'll break it down. Those are the two phrasings. Um, behind those two, behind that part of solo I just played, uh, the chords are D, B flat, C, G minor. Uh, it's all bar, uh, just bar chord. So D, B flat, C, G minor. And while the song is in the key of B flat, uh, basically is G minor. Um, we are actually playing a G Dorian Mo. Um, basically, when I say G Dorian Mo, if you think of Dorian as a, uh, the second Mo in the scale, uh, so we are looking at uh, playing uh, F F major scale. But if you think about it, the F major scale. The relative minor of F major is what is D minor. So basically, what we play is D minor uh, over uh, over the G minor uh, key. Okay, so the D minor scale is like this. Play on the tenth, tenth, uh, tenth position. Ten, twelve, thirteen. 10, 12, 13 again on the A string, 10 and 12 on the G string, 9, 10, 12 on the G string, and then 10, 11, 13 on the B string. And the lastly on the high E string is 10, 12, and 13. Okay, again, uh, the first phase right here is like this. Alright, uh, we bend from the 12th fret to the 13th fret, basically it's the F note, and we'll play the D note on the 10th fret, okay? Uh, next part we'll slide, using your ring finger, slide up to the 13th fret on the B string, and then you play the 10th fret of your high E string with your index finger, 13th fret on the high E. This part you play the 10th fret again on high E and hammer on the 12th on the high E string and then you play the 13th fret of your uh, B string and then you play the 11th fret of your B string pull off the 10th fret and then you play the 12th fret of your G string but you bend it up to the 14th okay Bring it back down and give it some vibrato. Again, play slowly. Oops, sorry. Okay, uh, the next part is playing over two chords, is C and G minor. Uh, we'll start off on a C note, 10th fret of the D string. Okay, uh, do it again and play slowly. Uh, you pick the 10th fret of your D string twice and you play the 10th fret of your G string pull off the 9th on the G string and you pick the 10th fret of your D string 12th fret on the D string do the same thing again you play the 10th uh, fret of the G string pull off 9th again 
and you pick the 10th fret of the D string, 12th fret D string, okay? The next part you play the 9th fret of the G string, slide up to 10th, and you hammer on the 12th on the G string, you pick the 12th again, pull off the 10th fret, okay? Um, and you play the 12th fret again, on the G string, and the next part you play the eleventh fret of your high uh, or B string, and you bend it up to the from from the eleventh fret, bend it up to the thirteenth fret. Okay, so it goes like this, and you pull it off the tenth fret, and then you use the index finger. The same thing you play on the tenth fret of your G string, and on the twelfth, play the tenth fret of your B string. Next part, you play the 12th fret of your G string. Pull off the 10. Slide, slide down the 9 on the G string, and then you uh, and you land it on, and you land on the 12th fret of your D string. It goes like this. So those are the two uh, phrasing we'll cover in this video and we'll cover the rest in the next video.